the Gibbs free energy change that is indicated by a symbol delta G. And it is given by expression as delta G equal delta H minus T delta S. During a spontaneous reaction, the free energy of a system will decrease and delta G will be negative. So a positive value of delta G indicates that the reaction is not favored at a given temperature. The entropy of a system indicates the randomness or the amount of disorderness in a system. During a spontaneous reaction, the system is changing from order state to a disorder state. Hence, change in entropy, that is delta S, will be positive. For the question, now in the given question, all formation of nitrogen oxide have a positive Gibbs free energy change, that is delta G. Due to the high stability and inert nature of nitrogen, the determined entropy change of each oxide can be represented as a chemical reaction. Let me show you. We have 2 N2 plus O2 gives me 2 N2. O. Again, we have N2 plus O2 give me 2 NO. Third reaction. Fourth reaction we have. All of the reaction their products and their reactants are all in gaseous state. From the equation, identify which one is, from the equation, identify the equation in which different from others. In the case of formation of all the other oxide, like NO2, that is, yeah, that is N2O, N2O3, N2O3, and NO2, the third one. The number of gaseous molecule have reduced. So the entropy of the system will eventually reduce. But in the formation of nitrogen monoxide, that is reaction number second, the number of reactant gas molecule is equal to the product. So the entropy of the formation of nitrogen monoxide will be positive. So will be positive.